Well, hello. I'm just going to do a quick little intro. I'm Amanda, and you can call me Geekly Amanda. I have a YouTube channel, Crazy Amanda Reacts. And we are here today with Stephen Boyle, who is part of the movie Love and Monsters, which comes out on DVD Blu ray January 5th, right? And Stephen, what is your actual title? Like, we're working on this movie. Are you head of creatures? Is that your official title? That's that's it. Yeah, <laughs> had a perfect time this one, which was probably one of the best titles you could possibly get, I think. And uh, there was just creatures everywhere. It was uh, just the best job. I mean, it looked fun. I loved it. So let's let's get into the nitty gritty of it. Let's get. I want to know, you know, how you got into this, how you got into on this project and making the movie and and bringing these creatures to life. All of it. I'm ready. <laughs> All right, all right. So, um, um, where do I start? God. <laughs> I, I, what I will say is, um, like, it's this has been like the driving force. Like, building this kind of creature work has been like the driving force of you know everything I've wanted to create so long. Um, and um, it was uh, one of those uh, crazy irrational passions that just found me. It wasn't something that I actually pursued. Um, it just kind of scooped me up and never let mm -hmm. me go and still hasn't and um so um yeah it's it's just been it's just been such an amazing ride but i i initially got this project um i have a very good friend of mine matt sloan who's a visual effects supervisor uh -huh. and um when i first got into the industry uh uh he and i became very good friends and um we worked on um some of the earlier star wars movies together and a few other things together mm -hmm. And just sort of in separate ways, but um, um, yeah, he was the one who brought it to my attention and said that he'd love to have me on board. So, okay. yeah. So, were you a part of actually creating the monsters, or were they already in the script? They were already in the script, and when I came on, they were mostly already designed. Okay. Um, what was going to be digital? What was going to be practical? Mm -hmm. um, um, but and normally I like to design stuff myself if I can. But um, the designs on this one was so good; they were just so fun um, that it was. Yeah, I just thought they were amazing, cool creatures. You know, they were asymmetrical and mutated, and mm -hmm. but they still had some resemblance to Earth creatures like spiders, frogs, snails. Yeah. So um, I just think, of, yeah, they were great. So my job was to basically work with um, the the CG guys and the um, the practical special effects guys and I just find um, you know you know what area what part of the creatures did I build and what was taken over by CG we ended up doing a lot more practical stuff than I thought which was great okay. so and were, um, hmm. oh I was just saying so you were actually part of like creating the actual monsters then right like yeah. not not behind yeah. the computer or anything you were the actual creating the monsters were you part of making them move and things like that yeah yeah oh, we were okay. like we, the, the, i had a uh, i had a small crew and um thing in clay and plastic mm -hmm. scene and made the molds out of fiberglass and made the creatures out of silicon foam latex latex wow. anything and um um uh we also built the practical mavis um, i was really happy because i thought she was going to be digital but um uh she's all practical um, and we had uh, Toby Barron, who's one of the guys who's been working with me forever. Mm -hmm. um, and he was puppeteering Mavis. And it, so, um, yeah, he, he was great. But it was just such a, yeah, we got to actually build all that stuff and puppeteer okay. it on set. And we went through a lot of slime. A lot of slime. <laughs> so you were on set, though. Were, were they kind of robotic? Did they move that way? or No, no. Well, you know, the... Um, uh, he oh, look. He ended up having different different names, but um, okay. uh, the the buzzard, um, the the what, the creature in the bunker behind the shower curtain. That, okay. You know, that gets, um, and um, um, so that was all done uh, with Toby inside it. So uh, this, all the mat. Was it the one. that one? <laughs> there. <laughs> So Toby was inside it and his hands were the mandibles kind of opening up and all that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, so he was in, oh, that is neat. <laughs> <He was actually laughs> so all of them had names. 
Did you make up the I names or they had the names from the no, beginning? No, the, the names were in the script. Um, and um, although they did keep on changing, but yeah, okay. there was the buzzer. That's the only one I, I only really remember. Um, I have some more. Yeah. Here's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> what that book from. Um, that uh, we made just different because he was all digital. We just made uh -huh. a different tongue. So we had to make um, some tongues that were like three meters long. One was one meter long. So there was a stunt oh, that's tongue fun. that um, attached on with a cable onto the stunt guy that could pull him. Um, then we had another one that could, um, with a pole in it, that could actually be fired out of the cannon. Uh -huh. um, and then we had another one, which was like this really wet silicon sloppy one that we could slap onto things and wrap around the pool. Kind of so like those things you throw on the walls and stick and then... <laughs> almost <laughs> exactly like that. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, but on a three meter scale. And there, here, I wanted to show you one more. Here's the, the oh, queen yeah, gobbler. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, well, we did a, um, a section of her that was, um, you know when she comes out, she erupts from the ground and there's a bomb in her mouth and explodes uh -huh. and it's just like the, the carcass that, um, so we built that practically. And then we built all these puppets of her little babies that, um, you know, that are just crawling all around those places as well. I think they were taken over by digital, um, but um, which was always the, the plan, but um, they were still really fun to make anyways. How long would it take usually to make some of these? Um, oh, I, it's hard to say. We had a crew of about six or seven. Okay. Uh, maybe eight in the big, um, when things got really busy. Um, and um, we were on it for about three months, I think. So it, it's hard to say how long any one thing takes because mm -hmm. we don't sort of have, I mean, yeah, I mean, some of them had to happen quick. I think the buzzard was sculpted in about two days, three days. Um, okay. And we turned that around in about a week and a half. But they're long hours, long hours. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> but Worth it looks it, like no. fun. Like I, I mean, not me. I would, I would probably be dreaming about these, having bad dreams about them or anything. But they look like it'd be fun to make, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they, they are. It's actually more fun than you think. You know, it's, it's, um, yeah, it's, um, it's just like going to work and being paid to play all day. Yeah. Did you have a favorite of of the monsters? Do you have, are they like a child? Is it, you can't have a favorite child. So with the monsters, you can't have a favorite monster. <laughs> um, uh, no, I do. I think okay. my, my favorite, I, I can't decide. It's either, um, it's either the buzzard, um, the bunker scene or Mavis. Okay. That scene with Mavis, I think is just, yeah, I just think it was the best scene in the movie. It was yeah. just so beautifully, emotionally leveraged. And, um, What's great about it is uh, a lot of the times we make stuff and then we see the movie and, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's been in post-production for... I did have one other question I really wanted to know about the monsters, though. Because, I mean, you have good monsters and bad monsters and they say, you know, you have to look in the eyes for, you know, the yeah. bad monsters. And I'm, is that... Was that anything you took into consideration when you were making them? I know maybe that's more CGI, the, you know, the eyes and stuff, but what did you do different between the good ones and the bad ones? Um, I mean, when it comes to monsters, I don't really discriminate. Okay. <laughs> they're, they're, they're all, um, but a, a lot of those details, like the eyes and all that kind of stuff, yeah, that was pretty much designed thoroughly um, before it even got to us. Okay. Um, yeah. And do you have any, you know, when I'm watching them, you know, I don't, it's hard to compare it to something. These are bugs that kind of come out and become monsters and these things. But I you always hear what, you know, I went to Leica before and looked at the, the puppets they were making and they always had like little Easter eggs. Do you have any kind of little fun facts or Easter eggs about these monsters that you can share with us? I, I actually, I, I don't really. Um, no? <laughs> no, no, it, it was just... No, I, I, I don't think I do. Um, as disappointing as that is. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have any Easter egg surprises with the creatures. Oh, well, that's all right. That, I think they're great on their own anyway. But <laughs> so tell Thank me you. how it was working on set. Like, um, were you really involved with like working with the monsters and the actors and how they uh, would, you know, converse with, I got converse, but, you know, interact with each other and anything like that? Well, 
Yeah, I mean, once we had once we had something we could test, we'd, we'd test it whenever we could, mm -hmm. um, because I mean, the, the biggest issue is like uh, like when Toby was in these suits, um, he couldn't see anything. So um, when uh, the, the creature is being directed to grab something or look in a certain direction, um, it's impossible to know where to look. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, yeah, we'd, we'd always try and, and um, work with them and get those rehearsals right so that we can just plan this stuff because um, it's just to, to create a very organic sequence like that, it's just still very mechanical. It, it's, it needs to be planned as much as possible. Um, so, yeah, whenever we could, we would. Whenever we could have some kind of involvement um, and some kind of say in that, we, we would always try to. All right, well, I got the ding that I have two minutes left. <laughs> so okay. I just want to do a quick, I just want to do an outro, you know, Love and Monsters, I saw it. I loved it. You know, it's coming on, like I said, Blu-ray and D DVD, Blu-ray, 4K. T today, well, my video will be up today. It'll be January 5th. And thank you for the taking the time to talk with me. You are so welcome. I really enjoyed <laughs> it. Thank you. Thank you.